Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live this Thursday night. Temperatures slow to cool and things here in the Southern Valley very quiet as we head into the overnight hours. The wind that was gusting throughout the day still from the south southeast, but only nine miles per hour. And so the wind chills out there and not too bad at this hour. 16 is that temperature. That's the same reading you have out at the airport in Moorhead. Gwinter 14, Jamestown joining you at that number. Single digit readings in portions of the Devil's Lake Basin and in Grand Forks this hour, it is eight whole degrees. 13 for Bemidji with Wadena at 10. Fergus Falls, wow, not, uh, 18 rather at this hour. Still a few clouds, mainly in the northern valley. Snow north of Winnipeg continues to drift toward the northern Great Lakes region. Uh, along a boundary where there is some warmer air to the south and to the west, that cool pool mainly up to the north and east. Nationally, quiet weather for most of the nation, minus the desert southwest and moving into west Texas. A little bit of unsettled weather there, but by and large, pretty quiet conditions right now. As we go through the overnight hours, there's not going to be a lot of change. We'll see periods of cloudiness, even at times here in the Southern Valley. As we go through the overnight hours, there'll still be a chance of hit or miss flakes of snow along the international border in northern Minnesota. Most of us start out the day not far from 10 degrees, although we'll see some single digits still up in northeast North Dakota and northwest Minnesota. And there'll be enough wind out there to have some wind chill, but it'll be closer to zero degrees or just below for most of us as we head out the door. Now, by the midday hour, we'll still have quite a fair amount of cloudiness. In fact, it builds into parts of the Dakotas as we go through the afternoon. Hit and miss snow showers still possible. Temperatures slowly rising into the teens. And in the afternoon, we're not expecting an impressive warm up, but a chance to see a 20 degree reading or two in the Southern Valley and a lot of teens up north to near 20 as well. Again, the snow chances will taper off a little bit later in the day uh, tomorrow in northern Minnesota. In Fargo then, uh, summary, eight degrees to start your day. Winds generally out of the north, but only five to 10 miles per hour for most of the day. And what sun we get will feel nice, 23 for the afternoon, thanks to the clouds that'll be lingering around into the evening. We'll see temperatures slowly falling for the night into Saturday morning. 11 tomorrow afternoon on your way home from work in Devil's Lake, Grand Forks 18, 17 in Oaks. And a look out to the east showing temperatures generally well, not a far cry from 20 degrees. All in all, that's about seasonable for this time of the year. Here's a very colorful shot uh, titled it uh, Cotton Candy Skies. Some very vibrant colors there. Doris Matson Franks, thanks for taking the time to upload your photo at valleynewslive.com. All right, taking a look at Saturday, the warming trend continues, but it's a slow warming trend. I think a uh, chance at seeing some 30 degree readings in the south here on Sunday up north, not quite that warm, but still fairly quiet and pleasant weather into Monday as well as we remain above average. Then next week, another cold air mass slides southward and that is going to bring temperatures back down into the single digits for Wednesday with isolated flakes, you guys. All right, thanks, Hutch. You bet. The latest diet trend.